Back to a brief recap of some top local headlines this morning. Residents across Humboldt came together yesterday to call for a ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war. They gathered outside Congressman Jared Huffman's Eureka office calling on him to support a ceasefire resolution. He's yet to do so, although he has said he supports a humanitarian pause to get aid to people trapped in Gaza. Tehama County Sheriff's deputies arrested this man, 44-year-old Jeremy Keeler, after they say they pulled over a vehicle they saw leaving a known drug trafficking area. Keeler was a passenger in the car and officers say they found a gun in it within his reach. But Keeler's a felon and was arrested and taken to jail on several charges. Reading City Council approved a rate hike for water, wastewater and garbage service during Tuesday night's meeting. Less than half of the households in Reading didn't submit a protest letter before the meeting, so the raise hike is expected, the rate hike is expected to be increased to almost $17 a month next year. After Governor Newsom took action to accelerate the site's reservoir project in the Sacramento Valley, west of Calusa County, an environmental conservation group is saying the project will harm the environment and Californians at large. Friends of the River say the site river project will add less than 1% to the state's annual water supply on average and that the creation of the dams would lead to serious wildlife concerns, including the population of Chinook salmon. And Preston has our weather headlines. Yeah, Nazi, it's an interesting day out there, but I'll show you your day planner first and then we'll walk through the timeline on the arrival of those light showers you're seeing out at the coast, expecting upper 50s, 59 in fact, for not only Eureka, but also Willow Creek. Those cloudy skies becoming showery after dark. And for the valley, we're not seeing any rain out there, but low 60s. And you can see how small that temperature ranges across the, the uh, north state today. Get this, I just looked at my forecast sheet. The difference between our warmest and coldest forecast high today is only 12 degrees. So it's all really packed into those 50s and 60s no matter where you are and we are bringing those clouds back into the region as we roll throughout the course of the day today. We'll hold off those showers until just about sunset out at the coast and they'll continue to pop through maybe some places along I-5 there in Siskiyou County seeing showers but the valley and even Trinity County not seeing much as we roll through into Friday which should be a little bit clearer than we're seeing out there today but uh, locking in on those cool temperatures before a beautiful Veterans Day weekend ahead. Uh, speaking of Veterans Day, we are honoring our veterans. You know, Operation Greenlight is underway and everyone's got the green lights out. The bridge, the sundial bridge is green. And we are taking time to highlight a community event that's happening right now in honor of our local veterans. These pictures were posted by the Reading VFW Post 1934. They're out at the Salute to Veterans fundraiser I told you about earlier this morning. This is at Cornerstone Bank in Reading. They're also out in Anderson and they're out with our friends Billy and Patrick there in Reading raising money for local veterans. People are encouraged to drop by and donate if they can and get this, Preston. The donations that are happening throughout the day there are going to help veterans get free RABA bus passes, so free transportation for them, which is just one small way that we can support our veterans for everything they do for us. That's amazing. Yeah, get out to Reading and Anderson Corner, Cornerstone Bank today. It runs into the afternoon, so you get a chance to go support our local veterans. Yeah, sure appreciate you. Thank you so much for your service. We'll leave you a look at the sundial and catch it when it's green at night. It looks really cool. Hope you get out there and make it a great day. You've got a choice.